you know, it was a great um, opportunity for me and, and, and a role that, you know, looked like a lot of fun and looked like something I could grow with. And we had a lot of fun. And I learned a lot on it and it helped me grow as an actor and, and, and I'm very thankful for it. I'm happy to be here promoting it. I'm proud of what we've done and, and, and you know, I'm optimistic about the future, but, you know, I'm just happy to be here today. Yeah. It was great fun, you know. I'm quite a physical guy and I'm quite a, I like, it, you know, extreme sports and I like, um, you know, I love training, you know, and, and so it was it's kind of a, a dream in a sense, you know, at least for four months, you know, after four months of living like a monk and an athlete, you know, all you think about is cheeseburgers and wine and, you know, it's, a, it's nice to have the yin and the yang and, you know, to do the action stuff and the independent, you know, stuff without action as well. And this is really something that interests me is like, you know, constantly changing the aesthetic, changing the posture, changing the silhouette, changing the uh, physical makeup in terms of muscle mass and body fat and whatnot. Um, so, you know, it, it was great. It was, it, was, it was something I'd never done before, you know, and, and that's, that's, that's what's important to me in, my, in this early stage in my career, you know, is to, to keep trying new things, to keep stepping out of the comfort zone. And, and this was truly that. It is an interesting dynamic, and again, you know, something I hadn't done before. You know, I spent a lot of the time inside the car with 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 four women, you know, or, or three men, women some of the time, and in the warehouse with just the women, and and that was interesting. But you know, what's great for me is just the fact that these, you know, these these are great roles, you know, and exciting roles for women, and you know, it's great that that, that, that such empowering roles, you know. It's so interesting, you know. People say to me like, "Do you prefer?" prefer playing heroes or villains and it's just about textures and layers and, and, and you know that's the interesting thing about Frank is that you know he's a hero in the classic sense but he's actually an anti-hero and almost you know he's working for the villains in a, in, a, in a lot of ways he works for criminals so he's actually one of the bad guys in a sense and it was that moral divide that was so fascinating to me and most of us in real life you know have that have moral dilemmas and, and and experience those, those moral divides and 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 so it's a very human thing and I think you know a lot of the time in in cinema people are predict uh, depicted as pure heroes of these wonderful knights in shining armor or these horrible villains and I, I actually think that you know real life is we're all somewhere in the middle you know